to those who know the suffering of porting a finished project, I am your brother. It is our suffering that brings us together. It is our suffering that drove me to this plan. A plan to make a virtual cursor that's controlled by a joystick or mouse position. In my Unity project, I created a script called Aim Cursor. This goes onto a game object that acts as the virtual cursor. On a controller, its position simply smoothly moves in the direction of the joystick, and on a mouse, it would just set itself to the mouse position. In practice, this felt completely redundant on a mouse, and before you ask, yes, this feels as bad as it looks on a controller. <laughs> and so, I embarked on a new plan to lead us from our pain. The new plan is to move the gun around the bounding box of the player based on the direction of the joystick, or the mouse's direction from the player if you're using a mouse. With only a little bit of trouble, I got my gun to trace the capsule shape. I then added a buffer variable that would let me control the gun's distance from the actual edge of the sprite. The gun itself is simply lurping towards a location around the player sprite, giving the gun smoother movement. Since the new solution also holds the direction, I changed the entanglement manager from the last episode to use the same direction for shooting the entanglement gun. Speaking of changes, Alex, my friend who helped me in last week's video, co-creator of Shark Revenge, spotted some weirdness with my jump method. The player was not actually moving in a perfect parabola. If you look closely here, you can see where Alex's gamer sense detected a warp in the parabola. He then demanded I play Celeste and remake my movement using a new method. And I'm only gonna do one of those. If you don't know already, my game is a physics-based 2D puzzle platformer, a game where a player can bind physics objects to one another, making them share physics inputs and properties. Like the idea? Maybe like this video and check out my previous devlogs where I go far too in depth on my development journey. If you're still watching and that doesn't sound interesting, check out my trailer and devlog for the full development cycle of my game called Shark Revenge. I made it for the Polymar C Jam to support Mr. V's Team C initiative. If you're still watching, what are you doing? The video's over. Get out of here. What are you? It's like, ah, oh, you rascal. Come on, man. No, just click off. No, seriously. Like, you need to stop. This isn't even fun anymore. I don't even know what to say to you. Go home. Get out of here. Yeah.